Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the show. I'm John Swicky, and thanks for joining us on our weekly AI roundup. So we got three links today that we're going to go through. A couple fun stuff here as well. So we'll start off pretty small this week. ChatGPT iOS app that was released. So, you know, it's a version one, no Android yet. So I haven't really been able to play around with it, but there's a couple interesting things. Whoop. Screen got a little, there we go. So it has, it's the, all right, let's say, there we go. It integrates with their Whisper API. So it has really good kind of text-to-speech so you can kind of talk to it. And you are able to use GPT-4 on it as well if you're a Plus subscriber. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it so far. Hopefully we can get an Android app soon. I actually don't have access to an iOS device at the moment. So I'm waiting to see. It'll be interesting to see if a really good mobile app kind of can can alter usage and maybe develop new usages. You know, I've used the web app out of, on, on my mobile device and it's, you know, it's gotten the job done, but it was never smooth. So, you know, if the design's really good, it will be interesting to see how people adapt and do people start using this for, for more and more things, right? And do people, do people go for it or do they still reach for things like Siri and Google Assistant? So it um, be interesting to see how the next couple weeks pay out and if they iterate on, on the project as well and get new features out there and uh, really put the effort behind the mobile app. So that's, that'd be cool to see. All right, next up, I'm excited about this. So Google has, they have an AI test kitchen now, and one of their projects is called Music LM. And Music LM allows you to do basically text to audio. So queued up one demo here. It's, we're going to try to play it here. It's, so I typed in 80 synth music that I can listen to on a run after a breakup. So let's see what we got here. So not bad. I mean, you know, for people like myself who are not very, maybe say talented music wise, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool to be able to kind of have this at your fingertips. And, you know, I know it's still early days, but I think this is going to be suit. This is, just, I, don't, I don't know, this is one of those feels small, but it feels also incredibly exciting to do this and, I, and i've been playing with this all weekend and you know i recommend anybody sign up for the wait list as well i think it just it's just really really fun to to kind of go ahead go there and it takes that kind of okay you can take it could be creativity here it could just be you just do some really interesting things so this has been super super fun we'll include a link in this in the show notes for people to mess around with i recommend like i said please sign up i think this is cool i'd love to hear what people make out of this i don't know any of the licenses or anything i i didn't see too, too much on the site on that. So obviously take a look at that before you use, before you use anything can projects. Okay. So our final link here, it's the kind of text image playground by replicate. So if it's at zoo.replicate.dev and it allows you to play around with a bunch of different text image, fail text image bundles. So I have one queued up here for those listening. It's a comic book panel of Ocean Waves Pickle Solar by Salvador Dali. And we can kind of scroll through here. We can kind of see the different ones, how Stable Diffusion handled that versus Dali. And it looks like he gives you three per prompt, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of kind of click around to play. I believe you can download these as well. Um, yeah, you can actually download the image right from here as well, which is cool. So you can kind of get that into your project. So. This is again, fun to play around with because to, you know, depending on the images that you're using your project, you might find one model is maybe better than the other. You know, they obviously do some, they have different training data. They do some different things. So I love being able to kind of try out a bunch at once. And I think it's, I think it's just kind of fun to, to play. So take a look at this. We'll put a link in the show notes. It's definitely one of the bookmarks that you have at the ready. And I think, yeah, we'll keep it short this week. I think that's about it. So 
We'll include all the, all the links in the show notes for everybody. And uh, yeah, thank you all for taking your time and thank you all for, for joining us today. And uh, we'll be back next time. Thank you, everyone.